Hey everyone, coming to you today to talk about our Norwex dryer balls. This is one of my favorite additions to my laundry lineup um, to get laundry done as efficiently and effectively as possible. I was looking up how many loads of laundry a typical family does and the research says between 8 and 10 loads a week. That would be a minimum for me, I don't know about you. But if you think about how many dryer sheets you would be using in a week, so if there's 10 loads, that's 10 dryer sheets, 52 weeks in a year, so that's more than 500 dryer sheets that a typical family might be going through. And that doesn't include those loads where you put two of those dryer sheets in, right? To make them uh, extra soft, or, or maybe it's to get rid of odors from your laundry. So the dryer balls are an incredible way to avoid using dryer sheets, which can both add to our landfills, but also can contribute harmful chemicals into the air in our laundry rooms, which tend to be smaller and confined, right? But also adding those harmful chemicals potentially onto the clothes that we wear. Um, some of the ingredients that are used in dryer sheets can also cause people who have allergies to have them more. It can lead to asthma attacks in people who are susceptible to that, even skin irritation. So lots of potential issues with the chemicals that are used in dryer sheets and why do that when you can use our Norwex wool dryer balls to achieve the same effect. So how do they work? Well, the dryer balls themselves work within the dryer to essentially lift the fabrics and separate them from each other, allowing air to circulate around your clothes so that it helps them to dry faster than they might without the dryer balls. So you're gonna be getting laundry done a little bit faster. You're also gonna be using less energy, which is uh, just a win-win all around. I use three dryer balls for a medium load, but I also have a lot of large loads and um, I end up using four or five in those larger loads. I just find that if I have a big load, a few more of the dryer balls in there helps it to dry a little bit faster. If your dryer balls unravel for some reason, say your dog gets a hold of it, which um, I have experienced, they seem to like these dryer balls, it's really easy to, to fix them. You would get, say, a tube sock, a long tube sock, and put the dryer ball all the way in the tube sock to the toe, and then tie a knot there so it's kind of tightly in that tube sock. It's helping to hold its form. And then put it through your wash and dry cycle a couple of times to get it to essentially refelt onto the ball. So that's a, an effective way to keep using the balls even if uh, you've got some unraveling from a particular pet. Also use of essential oils. I know some people like to use essential oils and, and those are fine to use on these dryer balls too. Best to use them towards the end of your dryer cycle just so the heat doesn't disrupt the, the natural essential oils but you still get a little bit of that fragrance throughout your laundry which I know some people really really like. So that's it for dryer balls.